Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron Cohen. I am the Junior Boys Division Head. And I'm Saul Wozniak, the Digital Media Specialist. And welcome to 10 for 2, a Camp Warwood podcast. Today, we're here with two of my favorite people, Breezy Miller and Amanda Thompson. Breezy is the Junior Girls Division Head, and Amanda Thompson is the Senior Girls Division Head. Hi, thanks for having us. Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. So, Breezy, Amanda, it is so great to have you both on here, and we'd love to ask you a few questions. Of course. Uh, So, Breezy, uh, we'll talk to you first. Um, Tell us about your time here as a camper. Okay, so I absolutely loved being a camper here at Laurelwood. I was a camper for eight summers. I started when I was seven in G1, um, and then I've been on staff for five years now, so I've been at camp for 13 summers, um, and I loved every moment of it. I loved my friends and my counselors. And my favorite activity at camp was probably boating because Danielle and I would always give tours of the lake to our other campers and our counselors in our bunk, which was so much fun. And, yeah. Um, Aside from boating, what else would you say were some of your favorite moments or your favorite activities at camp? Um, Maybe a trip or something like that? Um, Well, of course, the trip that comes to mind is going on Bonim, um, going to Costa Rica, was so much fun. I have so many amazing memories from that trip. I loved going whitewater rafting and going ziplining with all my friends, and it brought us all really close together, which was amazing. So what would you say you miss the most? You know, the, the difference between being a staff member and being a camper is obviously a, a large difference. You're on the different, different side of the coin. So what would you say is the thing you miss the most about being a camper? Yeah, it's definitely a huge difference. Um, being a staff member comes with a lot of res- responsibility that you don't really have as a camper, so um, that's a huge difference, and I would say I mostly miss my friends who aren't here anymore and my counselors who I had um, when I was a camper. Really, really good stuff. Awesome. All right, Amanda, it is your turn. Tell us about your time as a camper here at Camp Laurelwood. Um, It's actually funny. I remember not loving camp at first because I was from Illinois, and I didn't know anyone besides my brothers and my cousins when I first got here. And I was very, very shy, very quiet. But the more I came back, the more I fell in love with it. I made such good friends. And it really, Camp Boyd really gave me so much confidence. And I really grew as a person here. Awesome. That's like really, really good to hear. Well, so I guess I'm curious, if you didn't really love it at first, what, what sort of happened to, to switch it around to make you want to come back? Well, every summer my mom sent us here because I, like I said, I'm from Illinois. I was from a part that didn't really have a big Jewish population. And at Camp Borowood is where I kind of fell in love with being Jewish and just getting to know people who are more like me because I never had that back home. Snaps to that. Snaps to that. So I got to know this. What do you miss most about being a camper here? Um, Definitely having my brothers here. I miss that a lot. And I always miss the first moment you come onto camp. It's a feeling unlike any other. Amanda, I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm breezing. <laughs> I love the emotional connection we have here. Something, you know, something that always gets me curious about anyone who comes to camp at, at any um, time here is, is what connection you had that made it Camp Laurelwood is the place that, that um, you came to. So I'm curious to know uh, from both of you guys, what were the connections you had to Camp Laurelwood? Uh, Well, I first came to camp because um, the Cooper family brought me here. My family was moving from Massachusetts to Connecticut, and they ran into the Coopers at Katz's Deli in Woodbridge, and my mom met Joanna, and she said, I know where your kids are going to go to camp and school, and that's what originally brought me to camp. Um, So I feel very lucky and very fortunate to have them in my life. And then I just felt connected really immediately, Um, and I think the people really just bring you back summer after summer. Um, And it's a connection unlike anything else, like Amanda said. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You know, it's really all about the people here. You know, whether it's, you know, the staff that really love each other or the amazing kids or the connection between the staff and the kids or the connection between the kids and, you know, other kids. It's all about really, like, friendship. And you're really the Laurelwood family, you know. When I first came here, and this is only my second year here, I heard a lot about the Laurelwood family, and, you know, at first I was a little skeptical, but, you know, this being my second year, I totally understand that. In fact, I tell people now about the Laurelwood family. It's something I prefer to hear, you know, is, is, is you know, if you ask kids at other camps, like, you know, I could say nothing for sure, but something you might hear is, 
uh, you know, I came back to say some really cool things in the lake or um, I really like their bike trips or, you know, the swings there are really big and really cool, but it's not really something you hear from a camper or a camp or a wood. Obviously, we do have those things and those things are really great and I'm proud that our camp has um, all of those things, but what you would hear from most of the people that are coming back is they come back for their friends and their family who are here year after year and that's really the big connection that people have here and that's something that's really beautiful about camp. So what was your connection, Amanda? We didn't get to you. Um, so in 2009, my mom told me that her cousin, Denise ben Haim was going to be the day camp director here at Camp Borowood. And we didn't really know our cousins too well at the time. So she said, I'm going to send you with them. You're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know other Jewish people like you. And ever since then, I've loved coming back. And it's so cool because Mickey, my cousin, is now an SIT here. So it's really, really nice to have family that still go here. Wow, that's 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 really that's really amazing. You know, I actually had no idea that Mickey was your your, your cousin. I actually know her really well, and she's an amazing SIT. That is really crazy. The things that you learn. All right, guys. So something we really want to know, since you've all been campers and counselors and division heads, is overarching. What is your favorite part of camp every year? For me, it's definitely the people. I think the bonds that you make here, unlike any other. Like, as much as I love my friends back home, the stuff you go through at camp with your friends is, like I said, unlike anything else. So it's definitely the people and the kids. The kids are just so amazing. I love getting to know each and every one of them. Definitely my favorite part of each day is when I go into the bunks and they tell me about their days. And, you know, you get to really experience life with them. Yeah, that's, like, really awesome. I totally agree with that. I agree with that, too. I know we've talked about the people so much, but I think the people really make camp, and it's really beautiful. That's, that's, that's really awesome. So, all right, this question is to both of you. And what is your favorite new thing that Camp Laurelwood has adopted recently? That is a great question. Let me think. Really um, we've had cabana swim every day instead of just when it's super <clears> hot. So that means that the whole camp is coming together every day to go swimming. And I love it because I get to see everyone, people who aren't in my division who I wouldn't normally see. Um, so it's a great way to bring everyone together every day. I agree with that. And I also think something interesting that not a lot of people may have thought about is I think it makes it a lot easier for the lifeguards to not only have to, you know, switch, you know, three periods in the afternoon, but it also gives the lifeguards maybe more opportunity to be with the campers in the afternoon. For me, my new favorite thing is probably Hammock Village because I remember as campers, we used to have a place to hang out. And for us, that was the big rock in the middle of girl side. So to have a place implemented in camp for everyone to hang out is so nice. And my favorite thing to do is stargaze with friends there. Love that. That's awesome. All right, so Amanda, what are you most excited for coming up? That's a great question. We have so many exciting things coming up. I love Macavia. Very excited for that. And of course, our all camp trip to Lake Compounds. That's one of my favorite trips. I'm excited for both of those things too. Um, I love Macavia and Compounds, so very exciting. Um, and we also have staff banquet coming up week seven, Ooh, which banquet. is so much fun. I love getting to dress up and take photos. So I'm very excited for that. Something I would say, um, is that from a division heads point of view, I thought that maybe Maccabi and Big O wouldn't be as fun, but it turns out from the judges perspective, it's all basically just as fun as when you're participating on one of the teams. So I would say Maccabi is an exciting thing coming up for every single person on this campus. All right, guys, so our final question, which is sort of something we're making a theme for our podcast, is if you were to give any advice to a new camper or a new parent, what would your first piece of advice be? My advice to a new camper or parent would be to enjoy every moment of your Laurelwood experience because camp has given me absolutely everything. Um, I have like the confidence that I have and the ability to work with a team and be flexible and so many other things from coming to camp and memories that I'll have forever. So I would just say enjoy every moment because you don't know how many summers you're going to get and they're all incredible. So that would be mine. I definitely agree with that. My advice would be to embrace everything you can and take it all in. 
because this is my 11th summer here and I wish I could come back for so many more. So definitely enjoy your time here. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there and make a fool of yourself. That's really important. All right. That is like seriously amazing advice. Thank you guys so much for speaking with us. Um, folks, that'll do it for this installment of 10 for 2, a Camp Laurelwood podcast. This is Solomon Wozniak, the digital media specialist, signing off. Thank you guys for listening. I'm Aaron Cohen, the Junior Boys Division Head. Thank you for listening. This is Amanda Thompson, Senior Girls Division Head. Thanks, everyone. I'm Breezy Miller, Junior Girls Division Head. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.